wait till you see it in action. Loading Volcanic Scattershot. Fire it. Hello everybody, and I hope you enjoyed those little replays. So we're playing Volcanic Invoked Shadal. I I really wanted to add an engine that starts with an A, so I would have a V I S A, and I could make a credit card joke, but uh, I wasn't able to. I feel ashamed of myself. Anyway, volcanics. Everybody knows them. Everybody loves them for one reason or another. Uh, we're playing triple volcanic rocket, triple shell, triple scatter shot, triple firestorm guards and triple blaze, blaze accelerate and reload. So basically we're playing the extended uh, volcanic engine because we want to draw like a lot and reload so, together with firestorm guards and volcanic shell provides that. Not to mention, the engine also provides us with Scattershot, which is a Raigeki in a monster form. Which we can then recycle with Firestorm Guns and use again, because why the fuck not? I really love this engine. It's really, really cool. Next is the Monkey Flip part of the deck. Triple Meltdown, Double Invocation, and Triple Alistair. We deci I decided to go with this art because it's cooler. I just... I feel so... so bad whenever I look at Alistair. But he has such an awesome hat! Give me your hat! 
Uh, so yeah, this is here because it's Monkey Flip. Monkey Flip Palasta. Win. Next is our Shadow package with Triple Beast, Double Dragon, Double Squamata, Double Hedgehog, one Fusion, one El Shadow Fusion, along with Triple Schism. I don't think I need to say anything about this, it's also quite self explanatory. We also have Triple Infinite Impermanence and Triple Ash Blossom to get with our. And trap lineup. So, when it comes to this deck, we have. Let's go through the extra deck before we go any further into what this deck does. We have one Makaba, one Agaba Blubbles, one Megalanica, Triple Poker Trio, one Cositis, one Raijin, one Artemis for the Invoked package, double Grista, one Ab Cologne, double Winda and one Anaconda for the Shadow. So, what does this deck do, actually? It tries to OTK people, because we have Purgatrio, which can attack every monster on the field, gains attack and does piercing. It can also stun, because wind is a thing. And also, I don't believe many people are actually playing this, but Elshadow Grista can negate any special summon. That's not a part of an effect. All you need to do is just send the Shadow Mon Shadow card. It doesn't have to be a monster. A Shadow card from your hand to the graveyard. Meaning that if you were able to fuse it with something like, I don't know, a hedgehog and the shell, you get this, you get a search from Hedgehog, you search for Beast, you pay 500, get more shells, you go basically plus 2, and you can negate an opponent's summon with that Beast, which can then replace itself. Grista is extremely powerful, and I don't know why people aren't playing it more. Capcom is self-explanatory, so is Winda. Some are, might be wondering why we're playing Megalonica, Cositis, and Raijin if we only have Fire and Dark Monsters in the deck. I just figured that other decks exist and they might have Water Monsters, or Wind Monsters, or Earth Monsters. So we're basically just. Th those are basically here so I can have Invocation as DD Crow. Still get the monster out of this and uh, start laughing at my opponents. Mechaba is here because it's Mechaba and that's basically why we're playing Artemis. Uh, Verte Anaconda can copy Predaplan, uh, not Predaplan, Shadow Fusion and give us any of those monsters except for Apcalon. Apcalon can only be summoned if we have Grista in the grave. But that doesn't matter. I'm really happy with how this deck turned out. It has enough draw power, enough stun power, enough OTK potential. It's good in many aspects. It's not great in any of those, but it's just good enough. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this little rant of mine for this deck, and I will see you in the next video. Check out all the time, y'all. Peace!